Okay. I think the question is, can the Patrick School stop Thomas Sorber and Darren Williams? I think that's the bigger question because I don't know if they can. Yeah, I, I would think that he's going to tighten up a little bit in Patrick School. I would see them maybe going to extend their defense a little bit and we'll see how Ryan handles that if Harris can keep the ball and still get himself good looks and run the offense. Just keeping you, giving you a little bit of uh, information about the remaining schedule for the rest of the week. Um, 12-10, Brian is going to be playing Malvern Prep at Westchester University at the PCL Inter Interact Showcase. And then, as if that isn't enough, Malvern Prep is the Interact Champ. They're going to head down to DeMatha, the legendary DeMatha High School, uh, on the 11th and uh, play DeMatha, which i got to tell Mrs. Coach Ted that I, I may be making a trip down there. So she I might not be home for the weekend. I might be headed out to watch that game, and hopefully we may even have a chance to do that game. Mrs. 23-21, beginning of the second half and third quarter, Archbishop Lyon with the basketball. Thank you for staying with us. We hope you're enjoying the broadcast. Darren Williams, the left, he goes down into Sorber. Looks like Ryan goes, looks like Ryan's going as they started. Harris, Sorber, Williams, Morbido. He just set a screen, Williams pumps. And Murray. On the outlet, Morbido takes a foul. Again, 23-21. Brandon Lee on the line for the Patrick School. Looks like the Patrick School mixed up their line a little bit. Yep. The starters, how they went to start the third quarter. Jaden Glover starting the third quarter. He came off the bench in the first half. I'll tell you what, this Ikena Alozi, that freshman, is good. 6'4 freshman, number 21. The level of players that have come out of the Patrick School and where they came from, St. Patrick School, the I got a list. I got a list of names on the region. At the, at the next, at the next stop, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read you some names. Celtic retained possession of the ball. Morbido. Good ball movement by them. Fell on the floor. Morabito, Morabito with the foul, his second foul. It's quick two for him. Yeah. Okay, did you get a chance to see uh, T Pack for the game? I saw the great T Pax, Tyler Paxton. Another block by Sewer. I think that's five. I think that's five. Patrick Stoll calls timeout. Thomas Sorber. Unbelievable. Yes, I did see the great T-Pack. It's funny, I thought of it today. I was look, doing some research for him last year, and I forgot that he is on the stat sheet with his legendary performance against, I think it was Conwell Eagle. Senior night. Points from the field, points from the line. The great T-Pack, who does social media for Archbishop Ryan. He's in his first year at Temple University. He told me uh, he's in the client school doing a lot of stuff with uh, film and TV. And he said he's absolutely loving it, living on campus and living a dream. And he's a real super kid and uh, great representative of Archbishop Ryan. Twenty-three, twenty-two, seven minutes, a little over seven minutes left. 
in the third quarter. Archbishop Bryan defending. And can't move. Raiders get possession on another turnover. Patrick School's coach is not happy with that. <laughs> Silliness. It'll be frustrating as a coach when you see the, uh, the basics not carried out. Morbido brings up the ball. Pressure on Paris drives to Mary. I think they might like to see Mary take that right to the hoop. Williams with another steal and a great thing. Mary in the lane. I'd like to see Mary get Bob a little more. He doesn't really engage himself in a game too much. Sort of. Pumps. Sort of keeps the ball low. Oh! Thomas Sort of. We'll try to get we'll try to get a, a true stat line on Thomas. Uh, I asked Thomas that when I was talking to him about playing in front of eight thousand people, and he laughed. He said he was nervous at first, but once the jitters. Right to the first few seconds of the semi, you know, he adapted to it pretty well. And in my head, I wanted to say, guys, you're going to be playing in front of double that soon. Oh, yeah, double that. He's got that kind of talent. Foul again, so we'll take the line 25 22. Archbishop Ryan up three with 6.38 left in the third quarter. Sorbo short on the free throw. Wild shot out of control. Freshman. Quarter three. Long back iron. Oh, Michael Paris. Not a backcourt. Great pressure, Michael. I like it. Very careless with the ball. Turn down the intensity. Nah, 
Ah, look at, look at Ted Bloom over there in the spirit crew, man. They got it rocking tonight. Mr. Bloom has the pet band out tonight. It's a big night. And all the stars are out. You know who I see first thing coming in the building? The talented, the lovely Phil Consalvo. Ripping down Chick-fil-A sandwiches. Like they were going out of style. And then told me to ask me pickle on his lip. Do I need any help? Great welcome, welcome back to the season. What is this over and under on chicken sandwiches? Three and a half. Well, three and a half per game. I think the average is three and a half per game. I think the better number is how many does he pay for? It? Inbound. The Celtic inbound in the ball. Ryan up eight with pressure. Ah, third. Is that his third? Who are they going to give it to? Nods of approval from the fans in front of the broadcast booth. Phil's one of my favorite people, and he's a great supporter of Archbishop Brian and Pro. He's a legendary alumni supporter. Oh, this kid can play. 21 can play. Cuts the lead. Not even look at the sheet. Who's showing his press? But it tells me. It tells you. Ryan up five with five left. Everett to Schwerber in the corner. Michael to Everett. Everett slip. Thomas Schwerber. Yeah, out of control. Foul on Thomas. That's Thomas' second foul. And you can see the intensity of the game start to pick up. Coaches now starting to stand up, right? Score. Ryan's holds five, 30, 25, 458 left in the third. Aquino loses with the ball in his hands, and I wouldn't give it to anybody else. Michael Parrish drawing that assignment. Throws it down left. Darius Coleman on the line for the Patrick School. Free throws have been a problem for the Patrick School tonight. They had, they... Yeah, both teams have struggled a little bit, leaving some, uh, some points on the table there. Misses both. Great opportunity for Archbishop Ryan. Is that this back? Yeah. Michael Paris among the trees. No. Big rebound. Zeke Zongo. Ooh, no. Zongo is a 6'7 senior. He is long. Look at the length on him. 20. Number one. Number one. Zeke Zonga. Sec. S E C K. My apologies. Zonga. Dad, what do you think? How do you think this team would fare in the uh, BCL? I think you're looking at. I think you're looking at. It. I think it's. This is it. You know, you're looking at Ryan. You're looking at. They would be in that. They'd be in the mix. I think they they give a real challenge to some of the other mid level teams, the Sal's, Devons, you know, really solid basketball teams, but they don't have the athletic ability. Ryan can match them, maybe not as deep, but match them uh, one for seven, one for six. Foul on the Patrick School. Jaden Glover. So St. Patrick's 
Patrick, or excuse me, Patrick's going to go a little bit of a smaller lineup. He's been rotating that a little bit. Takes 33, brings him in. Takes out number 20. Pass triple team. I'm sorry, super triple team. Ryan Everett from way downtown. First three of the season. Big three. Another steal. Mary. He finds Everett again. Everett cuts. Dishes. Nice play by Paris and a timeout. Paris. Ooh, he looks like he turned his ankle. Oh no. Looks like Michael Paris landed awkwardly. Had the presence of mind to call timeout to maintain possession. But he is in a bit of discomfort right now. Came down a little funny. And so we hope. Uh, we hope it's just a temporary uh, injury. Officially getting rain on Ted. Rain is coming in. We haven't had the volunteer roofer come in and fix some of the leaks, but that's on the way. I know we got plumbing taken care of. There's a guy in front of me who takes care of all the plumbing. He's shaking his head no. <laughs> He's shaking his head no. <laughs> just a little inside humor here. 33-27, 3.47 left. Banners look great, but we need some bubble gum. <laughs> on the roof. It's not my equipment. <laughs> you know, we're sitting in front of we're sitting in front of the great Frank Monaco, who also was a legend here back in his uh, parted feathered hair days in the eighties with Ryan Ice Hockey. Uh, his son Frank, he's one of our players, and is also his son Frankie's a dual sport player. Center backs in the no, Catholic League. Wait, 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 wait. He's one of the best center Frankie Monica's one of the best center backs in, in the Catholic League, and he's also on our varsity squad. Uh, a great kid. We're having some fun. Uh, uh, hearing the word parted feathered hair was uh, not something I thought. I've got I've got pictures. <laughs> Darren Williams. Darren Williams stops, falls in and out run the Celtic. Underneath and back. And just like that, with 3.32 left, Brandon Lee with the bucket. Nine holds four of 33, 29. Looking to see. Now 3.32 left. We're having clock issues, scoreboard issues. We're trying to keep up with everything here. Will be better as the season going on. Michael Paris walking gingerly behind the bleachers with the training staff. Christian Joram, our 6'5 junior, checks in. Rocco Morabito, Ryan Everett, Thomas Sorber, Darren Williams. Christian Dorm on the court for Archbishop Lyon. Look at the ball in the shoulder. He looks to shoot and scores. Soft touch for the big man. 35 30. 309 left in the third. You doing good? We're doing real good. Down the play. <laughs> Teammate foul does not make, eight foul does not make. Coach Zaglinski very happy. 35-30, uh, fourth quarter setting up to be a barn burn. We'll see the intensity in the fourth quarter. I think it's going to pick up. He makes the first. Five thirty-two, two fifty left in this third quarter. A 
Williams. Screen set by Sorber. Box. Foul by Williams. This will be his third. Ryan was down one after the first quarter, 14 13. Took a 23 21 lead into the into halftime. Right now we're 35 32 with two minutes 34 seconds left. We appreciate fans checking in. The great Joe Mason, the great Joe Mason from the Northeast Times. Listening to our broadcast. Joe's been great for uh, kids in Northeast Philly for a long time. Does a great job covering all the sports, uh, multiple schools, all the schools in the Northeast. Um, does a great job here at the year. Private, the private, public schools. Joe does a great job for, he's a great advocate for these kids. He finds really, really good stories. Uh, so if, please check out Joe Mason. Um, you can go on Northeast Times website. You can check him out, northeasttimes.com. Um, so it was a great chat. Patrick School climbed back into this. Yes. It's a little bit rough. Fouls are a little higher than we want it right now. The game got a little sloppy. Papa Morabito with a big time three. No good. Doesn't look like Coach Zig was happy with that. Shots of action. <laughs> A little confused. A little long. Great defense by Darren Wood. Little takes the lead. It's better for them. They bear down. They look like they're coming together as a team as the game's going on, too. Everett down to Sorber. Sorber backs down. Finds a cutting Williams. He kicks back out to Everett. Everett, skip pass. Dorm in his face. No. Corner three doesn't go. Ryan down three. Doesn't look like Coach Joe's going to take a timeout. Let him play out here. A little small thing. He takes that shot, doesn't follow it up. Maybe gets a rebound. Maybe get a second look. Fundamentals, still to me, seem to be the basics. You know, follow up the shots. Get up. Get, get the rebounds. Box out. Go back to the basics. Don't turn the ball over. Just like that. And there you go. And now all of a sudden, reckless in the, in the lane. Parrish okay. It's good to see Michael Parrish back in the game. That Michael Parrish, Brian Everett, T. Will, Rocco Morbido. Sorber on the floor for the Raiders in this last minute of the third quarter. Well, the Raiders had the lead for most of the quarter. A few careless possessions. And Thomas Sorber brings him back. Big time shot by the game. To tie the game with a three. And another block. That has to be his sixth unofficial. Williams looking out underestimating. It might be seventh, Ted. Looks like they're going to pull the ball out. 20 seconds left. Ball out of bounds. Ball will stay with Archbishop Ryan. Ryan puts 20.9 left. Yeah, Ryan puts Darren Williams on the ball. Inbounds. Pick up it in the Sorber. Looks to cut. Sorber. Hand off to Williams. He shoots. No good. Yeah. 12.9 seconds, tie ball game. All knotted up, Texas. Jaden Glover back in the game for the Patrick School. Akita Arozi, number 21, the freshman. has been super over. Been quiet last few minutes. Let's see if they go to him. Let's see if they go to him for the final look here. KJ Satterfield, 6'5", senior guard. This is where the legs can become a problem. Your 
much in the fourth quarter, Ted. Where's your fitness at? Check. Both teams, where are you at, Manly? Ryan Everett checks back in. Three point specialist. Let's see if he can get hot. 6 seconds left in the third quarter. The Patrick School up 2. Michael Patrick with the ball. 3 seconds in the sorter. Slow. No good. I promise you to read a list of names of uh, distinguished alumni basketball players from uh, the Patrick School and their legacy. I'll start off with the big one. A guy, he plays in Brooklyn. He doesn't like needles. Who is it? Kyrie Irving. Not really my style of game. I'm not really a guessing game tag. Give me the facts. Come on. Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving. All right, well, we got Frank Monk. So we got <laughs> Sammy Dallenberg. How about that? Corey Fisher, Michael Kidd Gilchrist, Al Harrington, of course, uh, Shaheen Holloway, who uh, was the head coach of the Seat Hall Pirates for that big run. Uh, you're too bad. Uh, Mike Nardi was also a Villanova player. So th this school has a factory for basketball. Um, like I talked about at the beginning, you know, that this is the kids that are going to this school, they're going for this more whole approach about players and, but this guy's putting kids at Duke he's putting kids all over the place so he's giving them a chance for secondary education he's giving them a chance for education yeah. they're also training and living I mean like I said earlier like the bias I guess what it sounds like and again you did more research than me on them um, when you're waking up and you're training and you're, you're eating right and all day is about basketball and studies and doing the right things and coming a young man the way these kids handle themselves tonight I'm impressed uh, their bench, I'm impressed. And I'm also, I mean, again, Ryan is going toe to toe wow. with a top team in the country. Ryan just went down four. 42 38. Rocket Morbido with the ball. He dishes to Everett over to Paris. Paris trying to find Sorber, and he does. Turns and backs down. He's double teamed. He's triple teamed. He's quadruple teamed. The Luis lifts the ball. Out on the flush. Oh! Rocco. Good defense again by, by Williams. So any, any commits where these guys are going? Any, I, I didn't get any reports. We didn't get a chance to meet with anybody before the game. 7-11 uh, left. Ryan holding a four-point, or I'm sorry, four-point deficit. 42-38 in favor of the Patrick School. Just watch Ryan now. Impressed with obviously Thomas Saber. We're impressed with D Will. I also like the compliments of Paris, Rocco, Everett. I mean, a lot of these kids are playing a lot of energy in there. I like them kind of it. Yes. The way this season's gonna go, it's, it's looking it's good. Dog mentality, and that's what they talked about. Uh, I think they like I think if they're not they like to have the last probably five, six minutes of this game back. St. Patrick with the ball. Ooh, offensive foul. Six thirty five left. What's number twenty thing you guys? Playing all for Wise. Williams. The handoff from Sorber. No. Thomas boxed out. Patch still slowing the ball down. And a pop call on the freshman. The 
Fresno Mosey gets called for the palm. Archbishop Ryan needs to take advantage of this turnover, this possession. Six minutes left. Thomas Sorter spins, stats, foul. Triple teamed Thomas Sorter. Thomas will earn those free throws to go to the line. Thomas Sorber, the junior, was a first, first team all state 5A classification last year as a sophomore, certainly so. Obviously, first team all Catholic. And he makes the first of two. Darren Williams and Luke Boyd were third team all state. And second team, all Catholic players. Thomas misses the second. Ryan down three, 42 39 with 5.48 left in this ballgame. Turnover for the package score. You notice that it's gotten a little bit tighter? A little bit. Uh, a little more careful in possession. Both ways. They got the clock. I thought the game would be a little bit more open in this fourth quarter, but uh, you're, you're right. It got a little choppy again in the third quarter, and that's kind of maintained. Both teams are trying to get themselves in a uh, winning record to start the <laughs> Yeah. Michael Paris has handled pressure. All night long. Very well. They go deep inside. Sorber can't make it. Fights for the re his own rebound. They're calling a jump ball. Ryan with the possession arrow in their favor. Need to come away with some points here. 5 12 left. On the floor, Everett, Morbido, Sorber. Harris Williams for Archbishop Ryan. Everett kicks out. Everett shoots. Everett. Big three. Ryan Everett. Tie ball. That's his second consecutive. Everett off the bench tonight with two hit threes. He's hanging in there, right? Listen. Offensive foul. Michael Paris says it. We used to say that last year about Luke Ford. Shoot and shoot. Ryan had a tough first quarter. Tough first. But guess what? I'm out of bed with him. Keep shooting, young man. I think that's uh, important for him to do all season long. Yeah. Be consistent. Find his shots and find his points each night. And Ryan's a confident kid. Ryan's a real confident kid. I didn't talk to him. I said I had a chance to talk to him. I said, Ryan. What are you expecting? What are you expecting of the you know this, this upcoming season? He goes four minutes, <laughs> and we all everybody all, all of us laughed. But he, that's a kid that wants the ball. You gotta you gotta like that mentality. That's an honest, yeah, pure response. I, I, want, I want the ball. He wants more minutes. He wants more minutes. So that's you know Ryan. We laughed because Ryan was with us for the soccer program for a couple of years. And uh, so, yeah, make, make, make a full commitment. I think he saw that he had a really, really, really good opportunity. He wanted to work on his basketball game, and we missed him. We missed him on the uh, on the pitch. But I'm really glad for Ryan to see him out there making making some threes. So. Yes. And if he, if he can fill those Luke Boyd shoes, wow, be huge. Big shoes to fill. Um, again, it's all just two, right? Yep. Not along with the rest of this class, just junior class. I'd like to see if we can get D. Will. Get some points here. Sorber. I think the guy who show up. He's going to shoot. He's going to shoot. Oh, Ryan was feeling it. Just missed. He's going to look. He's got a high arc on his shot. Yes, he does. Huh? 
sono e poi ti cancello Michael Parrish says, like I said, his hand on pressure all night and it's been in his face. Uh, Gabe Ryan, unfortunate, unfortunate, mishandled the ball. Yeah, he was feeling it looked like he was trying to get it into a great ball. Keep shooting, young man. Game is still tied. Four minutes left, fourth quarter. The freshman, great defense, Michael Parrish. Freshman comes up short of Rosie. Michael Parrish with his left. Michael Parrish in the lane. Michael Parrish draws the foul and falls into the stands. Michael does such a great job protecting the basketball. Through that foul. Forty-two, forty-two, three fifty-three left in this fourth quarter. Michael Parrish at the line. Case Raiders the lead. Should be a great last four minutes. Thank you for spending some time with us on this Tuesday evening, early evening till season opener. Archbishop Ryan, the Patrick School. Michael Parrish is two big free throws. Put Ryan up two. Coach Joey makes the defensive substitution. Takes out, takes it out Ryan Everett and puts in Murray for some defense. Lively crowd tonight. Lost his shoe, the freshman. Closing loses his shoe. Offensive rebound. Sex Zongo getting active on that possession. And he drew Thomas Sorber's third foul. Crazy. Uh, I, I, you know, it is, it's an honor to sell here. A lot of this stuff, man. It's really, really cool. Got to make sure to check out Archbishop Ryan's schedule. You can find them online uh, on their Facebook page, on the YouTube page. Make sure you come out and see the new gym. You get a chance to see this team play. You are going to be very, very impressed. 44 42. Coach Savinsky. Yes, 321. Coach Sid gets a timeout. Two, Chad. Three and a half. What do you think is going on over there? I mean, you're the coach. What do you think is going on over there? Um, he's doing a little man assessment, check in, see where we're at. He wants to get a good offensive run right now. He's bringing Ever back in to get a good look. Put all the shooters out in the field. Okay, I'm still in soccer, but Which that's okay. That's what happens when you play play late in the season and, and, and win the first championship since 2003. <laughs> for the, uh, Just in case anybody was wondering. Of the championship. I keep looking at the banner. I can't wait to see 2022 up there, Ted. It's, like I said, I, I think the synergy this year between the soccer program and the basketball program is going to rub off. I love their opportunity to win win the PCL title for the first time in school history. I just love what Joey's done. Um, he's, he's has a very, very, he's a very, very good coach. He's just, a, just simply stated a very good coach, and I think he has these kids dialed in, and parents of kids, I think they're dialed in. Can't say nothing this year. And it's there. They're dialed in. They want to win. A lot of sorber. 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 Foul. Right in, right out, right in. That's a reflection of the yeah, man, just going back to look how happy he was when we won. I want to. I'll, I'll say something that I don't, I don't think Joe wants to say. I mean, he was emotional.